welcome to Gem Friends. I'm your host, Sherry Hudson Passy, and we are doing something really fun tonight. We, we're kind of trying to work this out, but we are at the Family History Library. It is Roots Tech Week. I've got Laura with me <laughs> from Treasure Chest of Memories. We've got Melissa Barker, our archive lady. Back hello, hello, everybody. <laughs> hello. She's still in her archive. She's still in her archive in Tennessee. <laughs> and we have just asked people who are in the library, and most of these people you're going to know, um, just to come talk to us a little bit about, uh, about Roots Tech, what they've been doing in the library, if they've um, made any um, great discoveries, what they've been doing, and, and what they're excited about uh, doing here at Roots Tech. So who wants to go first? Jenny, you want to go first? Uh, Jenny wants to go <laughs> first, I can tell. Oh, yeah, I really do. <laughs> Uh, so uh, my name is Jenny Horan, and um, I'm from Connecticut. Um, I have my own uh, business called uh, Life Herding Cats Genealogy. Um, so I'm really excited to be here because uh, obviously it's the first in person that we've had, you know, in, in so many years. And um, but I'm really excited to see the new library and all the changes they made. So that was that was really fun. The snack room is great. That's what I was really and um, but I've spent the last couple of days um, working on a personal project, um, looking um, into some um, microfilm uh, records that I can't get at home, um, even at an affiliate library. So I've been basically for two days been in deep in um, this microfilm and um, finding a lot of really interesting things. Very so, cool. Yeah, very cool. Very good. Why don't we just go around the table? So hey, Sherry. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just saying Shelly is wanting to know if it's open. So I told her to click on the yes. link and come in. So come on in. Yes, absolutely. Shelly, so look for her. She may be coming. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll be in charge. Okay. You'd be in charge for letting people in. Hi, I'm Rebecca Whitman Cofer, and um, I am here from Mount Airy, Maryland. Um, it's it's been great to be here. I'm glad to be back to Root Set. Um, I am the executive director for the board for certification of genealogists and um, i am the director also of the um, institute on sorry brandon oh we're all feeling um, that way <laughs> the genealogical institute on federal records that is held once a year at the national archives um, i'm really excited because this is um our second in-person event for having the BCG booth out. Yes. Um, yes. And I think it's going to be one of the largest events. We were at NGS in May mm -hmm. of last year. And, um, you know, there wasn't a, a large attendance, but we really did enjoy ourselves. It was, it was, a, it was a good event. Um, this one, we really expect to have a lot of people, a lot of young people. Oh, that's good. And of course, this is a place that has the only college that has uh, a degree exactly in family history. And so we, uh, I know that a lot of the that the young kids who are in that degree are planning on coming by. Oh, good. I know that for certain good. things, my daughter works in the family <laughs> history department. Oh, good. Um, She's putting plugs in. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're, we're gonna start setting up the booth tonight. Yeah. Um, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. We're really excited about that. I'm excited to just be here and be part of this again. Yeah. And do a little client work. Do a little client work. There you go. There you go. Are you working on anything in specific in the library that you could talk about? Or I mean, I know well, names, but just no, not as that. Um, I'm always working on my own. Uh, I've got a research thought. Yes. So, <laughs> um, you know, I I actually really love recertification. I love the idea of it. Um, it's so much easier. Oh. Let me just tell you, yeah, so much easier mm -hmm. than the initial certification. <laughs> um, because there's there's less you have to do. Yeah. Really, you just need to produce something that meets the genealogical standard. Right. And right. um, so I'm working on a um a project for my uncle that is a YDNA project. I I'm working on his records from Texas and through Missouri and back to North Carolina or South Carolina or both. <laughs> um, and I'm also working on a client project where I'm currently wandering into Georgia. Georgia's ah. new for me. So I am probably going to have to 
get a consultant because of course it you know wouldn't be proper of me to work in an area I'm yeah. not too familiar with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but as the client still working in military records, I'm good. Yes. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm proficient. In yeah, you're good with that. You're good with that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Sure, Annette. I'm Annette Crafton Corbell. I'm from Oklahoma, and I'm just happy to be traveling again. <laughs> I'm so happy to come to the library, and um, I brought my 16 year old granddaughter with me to that try to get so her cool. Some, uh, that is so great. You know, give her some experience with it. In fact, she's outside printing out some. Oh, you should have brought her in uh, right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> let her work let, let her work, work. Let her work. Yeah. <laughs> and we're uh working on a joint project Sydney and I are um on some poor gentlemen that we've been helping for a while mm -hmm. that's, cool. that's very cool Sydney well I'm Sydney Gable from Huntley Montana and uh it's so nice to come back and be part of a group again mm -hmm. I have been here to the library once before this winter um but Annette and I are working on a project um that the only information I was given was <clears throat> the client or name. He knew the name of his father and the name of the two old maid aunts that raised his father. And that was all he knew. I mean, he knew his father had a sister. He knew that name. But as far as genealogy information, that was all he knew. And so I reconstructed from newspaper obituaries, and it involves Oklahoma. So I explained to Danette, to Annette, the issue that I had in Oklahoma, and this project has consumed her too. Yes. Yeah. It happens. It happens. And so it's an Oklahoma rabbit hole. <laughs> well, the Cherokee Strip. And, you know, this Montana girl knows nothing of Oklahoma or the Cherokee Strip or what all that involves. What is the Cherokee Strip? I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's an area of Oklahoma that was opened during the land run. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I've never done anything in Oklahoma at all. Yeah. That's so really cool. that's been quite an education for me. Yeah. So I've really stepped out of my balance on that. And uh, I have now come into two audio tapes that the old maid aunts gave us an interview in the 1970s. Um, they're very hard to listen to, and so I'm not sure how I'm going to get them transcribed. Uh, yeah. But um, we we found graves. We can't find Grandma yet. She's in the mental institution. Oh no. But, um, kind of. We yeah. have hopes. Yeah. We're, we're not dead there in the water yet. I think it's so fun that you two are working together on this project. Yeah. Little wonderful. did we know when we went to sleep. <laughs> how many years ago? How many years ago? 2015. When we took that first class together. Was it? Yeah, with Paula. And with Paula. See what you did, Paula? <laughs> <laughs> and um, the friendships that evolved yes. have been fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I have a quick question. I know I'm not in the screen. Yeah. Just something um, I'm going Ooh. the wrong no. way. I think I'm still in the screen, but the screen is. You hot. are. You're in there. So I'll get it fixed in a minute. <laughs> but. Um, when you say the recording's hard to listen to, is it because of the nature of the story or it's hard to understand? Hard to understand. Uh, it was an audio cassette from the 1970s. And it's degradation of the magnetic tape? Is that the I'm issue? Not, I think so. I'm going to see if Larson Digital can improve it at all. That would be one of my first suggestions. And the other one is, you know, maybe talk to some of the, because, um, you know, at the church, history library you know they have people there that are always trying to improve oh. video i mean there might just be somebody that has the knowledge of how you do it but i bet larson would be the best go-to i thought that would might be the easiest and it, the only way i could maybe transcribe it is have a couple people listen to it at the same time yeah yeah but i thought well that i'd start there idea. as long as i'm at Ruth's who's tab coming in who's and coming see in? if they could um come on in come on Oh, you're good. See if they can good. hear it or improve the tape so we can listen to it. The yeah. other good person is um, Rhonda Lauritsen. Oh, yes. She's really she's good, good with, with, with transcribing and stuff. Like I know she's she has, she's talked to me a lot about, um, and they're here this week. Yeah. Okay. And she always like, she says to transcribe, you know, to listen. And then she talks into a voice you know a voice to text yeah, yeah thing but they that's what they do is they 
they get people's stories and they, yeah. they do biographies. She's a good person. And uh, Rachel, don't know her, we can, we can and what's Rachel's about. last name? Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, Rachel. It's the Life <laughs> Girls. I'm sorry. We will edit this later. In the <laughs> and Rachel's name will come magically to my mind. <laughs> it will be, you know, I need somebody else to listen to it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Melissa, exactly. do you have any tips on that? Um, Larson Digital was going to be my first thing. Um, and my only other question is, Laura, can you, when they're talking, can you move the camera to show them, or is that not possible? Because it's just well, we you two sitting other there. We have this camera that Sherry's. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're. Yeah, and we do just have an. Is Roberta now in no, the? I didn't. I wasn't sure how we were doing. We're doing Scoot it. Over. Okay. Like, come in and out if you're. We now we you have Roberta. Do something else. Okay, because all I see are you and Sherry. Oh, you don't see this. this oh, I see the. I see them sitting at a table. So oh. go up to your view, Melissa. Oh, okay. And Let's share see. your view. Um, uh, you there know, they the... are. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Roberta. There's Shelly. I wonder where you were. I thought you came in. I did. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. said you pushed the button. Yes. Did you have any questions for any of our any of our guests? I, um, I didn't hear where in Oklahoma that she was doing research. I actually have a connection to Oklahoma. I actually lived there for seven years when I was a child mm -hmm. on an Air Force base. But um, my great great grandmother and her second husband moved to Salpulpa, Oklahoma, in a just after Oklahoma became a state, 1906, 1907. So I'm doing some research in there as well. So Sepulpa is in Creek County, Oklahoma. Yeah, uh, the research we're doing now is focused mostly in Western Oklahoma, close to the Panhandle, but um, still in the okay. main body of the state, Dewey County, Woodward County, okay. Ellis County. Yeah, I, I spent seven years from the age of three to the age of 10 in Altus, Oklahoma at Altus Air Force oh. Base. So yeah. The, part of the tape indicates the family thinks that part of the family I'm not sure which side that they think this yet was Indian scouts for Custer from Fort Supply. Well, we know where when Custer died in 1876, and I live 40 miles from there. So I don't think that these people were scouts for Custer, but maybe Indian scouts for the Army. And so we also would like to find the enlistment records for the troops at Fort Supply. Oh, yeah, that'd be great too. Mm -hmm. That's National Archives. <laughs> National yeah. Archives. That's easy to get to. Absolutely. <laughs> it is. Just call me. Oh, <laughs> you're on my list. <laughs> you are now, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you are now, anyway. That would be really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So See? there's some avenues. And See, this is why we call it Gen Friends, right? <laughs> That's right. We're all here to help each other. Hey, Shelly, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? We're good. Did you have anything to say to our our guests? <laughs> well, you know, Oklahoma for me is Angela Watton Raji. Oh, <laughs> the five yeah. civilized tribes. That's, That's right. about it for you know my knowledge right. of Oklahoma. Yeah. But I do have an ancestor um, that came out of there, but I have not done the research. And again, it was at the you know before Oklahoma was a state. So, yeah. But that's one of those states I want to learn more about because there was some happenings going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Roberta has come in. Roberta, what we're doing was just having people come in, say who you are, everybody knows who you are, <laughs> what what you're doing, what you're doing at Root Stack, what you've been doing in the library. Oh, the library is amazing. I just love coming here. And talk a little high. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. No, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, the library is amazing because not only for all the resources, but all the people, because I keep finding people just like this just happened. Yeah. I, I walked past a lady a little bit ago and I noticed a book because, you know, we all know this book. <laughs> and it said Claiborne County, Tennessee. I'm like, oh, are you researching Claiborne County, Tennessee? And she looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> and then she remembered she was in the <laughs> and I said, well, what's their names? And there weren't any of mine. I said, well, you're you're cousin to my cousin. And do you want her? Do you know her? And she's like, no. I'm like, well, she knows where your family land is. Right up oh there, right? Oh, my gosh. I said, I think that's <laughs> on my blog, actually. 
where she showed me where my family with neighbors can't <laughs> and just like, like uh, 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 I think it's not only amazing just before this step because we've all come here for the same reason and nobody's shy to talk to anybody else because chances are they're here for that. Yeah, um, exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And I found a cousin I had met, you saw me sitting on the yes. house earlier. Yes. And this lady I walked by and Dave Dow was sitting on the other side of me. Yeah. And I'm like, and I you just saw me in a luxury. Yeah, <laughs> luxury. Yeah. yeah, we looked your couch. <laughs> I never met Roberta. I just listened to her lectures. <laughs> uh, so I just, I love being here. I love the energy of it. And uh, I miss all the people. I have yeah. to say, there's a lot of people not here this year. Right. And I just yeah. Yeah. really miss them. And there's yeah. some places where they always have been. Yeah. That are really empty yeah. this year. Yeah. So, exactly. um, you know, so I guess we all have to, you know, do our share to, Make new friends and pass on the goodwill that's exactly. been passed on to us. Oh, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well yeah, that's very well said. And I could relate to what Rebecca said when you're talking about going in a new place. I, I usually am here researching in Virginia. And, but one of my husband's aunts, I'm trying to prove like one of these things I was inspired at NGS to like prove this big thing, right? <laughs> so it meant that I have to go to Oklahoma. And I'm like, wow, this this aisle is really close to the day. Like, I've never been in this part of the library. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow's having a research trip. <laughs> 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 Anybody want to join them? <laughs> Rainbow, you have my own library at my house. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for, for mostly Oklahoma. Oh, I'm sorry. I said Oklahoma. Yeah. I meant Iowa. I'm sorry. Iowa. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm trying to Oklahoma, figure Iowa. It's all new. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is trying to figure out there's a lot of Hedgecocks that were um Quakers that left North Carolina because they were abolitionists and they went to Indiana. But there were also a lot that left and went to Iowa. And I'm trying to figure out if there's any church connection or if there's any kind of provable or supportable thing of why they moved. Because they were landowners. Yeah. And they left. And you know, right at eighteen fifty. What's it? Yeah, in the eighteen fifty. What's this room number? I keep saying one twenty. One twenty. Oops. Okay. So telling people these was one of them in the War of eighteen twelve. Oh, see, I have not found that. <laughs> no, they were they were all farmers in North Carolina yeah, and they had owned do. land, do. and then they just at the same time or a few well, actually it's like ten years later than the. The Quaker Hedgecocks started leaving. The non-Quakers also started leaving. And Guilford County, North Carolina was kind of a hotbed of abolitionist oh, activity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so and Iowa was an, you know, had was a newly formed, you know, non-slave state. Yes. So I'm just researching that and seeing what I can find. And, and you found a good story too. Oh, and she I found a story. I found a story about my husband's great great grandfather, and it was just a pioneer was talking about memories, and he remembered Albert Hedgecock, um, almost late to school, and he came running into the little schoolhouse, and the teacher said, "Albert, are you going to study the Bible today?" And he's like, "Why?" And she's like, and she pointed, and instead of his textbook, he had brought the family Bible. Uh, <laughs> I hope you took <laughs> Exactly. Nice. What a cute story to have printed so that she could find it. So, yeah. so much fun. This is yeah. so much fun. So I and now talk, what are y'all looking at looking at specifically for Roots Tech? Mm -hmm. What are you looking uh, for? Anybody well, for us, for me, it's a good opportunity to visit with other genealogists and hear lectures that we don't get in Montana. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I posted something on Facebook that Zoom meetings are really seance meetings. So it's so nice to be back amongst people. And the other place I like is the exhibit hall. Yes. Because we don't have exhibits at our state convention or anything yeah. like that. We're too far removed from people coming mm -hmm. to do anything. So it will be nice to visit some of these booths and get, get some information. It's so twilight zone to give a lecture in a room 
by yourself. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. And, and, and to the wall. Yeah. And and it's so hard to gauge reaction or to right. slow down or to you know yeah. work work with what the crowd is yeah, doing. Yeah, because you've got no crowd when it when it's, it's just so hard. And I'm hard. so excited. To yeah, be back. back. Yeah. And Josh Taylor once told me that he was giving his presentations to his dog, so he had an audience. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can never. I tried once to practice a presentation with my husband, and he was like. <laughs> I couldn't do it with my dog because she snores. <laughs> can I put a can I put a plug in for my presentations? Yes, please do you like that. Couple. That's right. That is super interesting. Yeah. I'm doing two and they're going to be virtual live. Um, I don't know. I think they're going to be streaming in some room there. So I don't know where. But the first one is going to be March the second, Thursday at nine central my time so i'm not sure what that time is there but it's 10 things that genealogists should do before leaving a library or an archive it's going to be a good one yeah. and then my other one is going to be march 3rd on friday at 4 p.m central time which i think will be 3 p.m your time preserving your ancestors textiles and handmade treasures Oh, very, very, very cool. cool. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. But they will be recorded, so you can come back and watch them anytime. Right? Oh, that's good. Yeah. We're yeah. Back. Oh, and, uh, we're just going to ask you guys to say like, what you really like the fact that there's a combination of live and live plus live stream, and then webinars live like her. Right. Remote, and then the yeah. recorded runs. So there's really four kinds. And also the vendors. And the thing I really like about the vendor booths is mm -hmm. the things, they're usually short. They're usually like right. 15 minutes. And you don't get that information anyplace else. That's right. And unfortunately, Roots Tech doesn't publicize it. So unless you actually go and walk around to the vendor's booth and find their or find their schedule on their mm -hmm. virtual booth, yeah. you don't know what's being presented. Yeah. So I what I try to do is to look at those. Um, schedule that, or as mm -hmm. soon as the expo hall opens, we'll be able to see those and then weave those into my calendar. That's a great idea. And and then weigh the ones that are going to be available virtually. Right. So I know I can look at those later. And I know that sounds like a lot, of, but that's the only way I know how to get yeah. all the really good stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, we can't get any other way. Right. And what are you presenting while you're here? I know you're presenting. Um, I'm doing three presentations uh, uh, at Roots Tech, none of which are live streamed. Uh, a big wife for the win. Um, uh, Ten ways to find your Native American ancestors. Yes. Yes. And um, then another one, which is it's, I forget exactly the name of this awful, but it's like follow your ancestors' journey. And this one was really the fun one because what I did is I used Y mitochondrial autosomal DNA to to actually find the ancestor overseas. Oh, wow. To find where they came from in different ways. There's 10 examples. They're all from my own work. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. 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 So it, it, mm -hmm. And then I went back. <laughs> <laughs> I, three of them I haven't been back to. I used Google Maps, mm -hmm. but the rest I've been back. Yeah. And I took cousins with me. Uh, and I always was. Well, yeah, just spoil it. Yeah. yeah. But it was such a fun one to put together. Yeah. And then the two of my heritage booths. Are uh, one is auto clusters for the win, and I'll give you a hint. Uh, I had a match who was adopted, and he didn't know anything, and he picked me. He didn't know who I didn't know. I had, and, he, and later he said, "How did I get so lucky?" <laughs> you did. You got very lucky. <laughs> well, you know, my son, my, my you know so much. Yeah. And I said, "Well, I can tell you're on my mother's father's side, but I can't tell anything else really." Could you would you mind sending me your auto cluster because then I can see it from your perspective. Right. And then I showed how I worked with his auto cluster to show exactly, exactly how he's related in my family. And, and that's a 15 minute one. And then the other one um, in my heritage is a fun one using their AI. Yes. So what I did is um, I took my mother and my father's photos and then their ethnicity, and I know ethnicity is an yeah. estimate, but it's, it's re, you know, it's country. Yeah. And I used my, the AI of my parents and then their ethnicity and then a real document from my heritage to tie it together. Wow. So it's a 15 minutes, yeah. it's maybe 10 minutes. It's just so much fun. And then That'd at the fun. end, 
there's a surprise <laughs> about going the other way, going oh. forward and using that. Oh, okay. So, so very is nice. my heritage recording? Uh, I asked Daniel this morning and he said he thinks so. Oh, good. That would be great because yeah. I think that's one of the struggles for the vendors with the virtual audience mm -hmm. is the, there's not really a whole lot to draw them into the booths unless they already know exactly yeah. what you do. And yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good point. You know, and so if you have something really interesting like that to mm -hmm. launch. Did you do a virtual booth before, Rebecca? Last last year's, yes. We did we did some and we created um we created some videos mm -hmm. to talk about the board for certification of genealogists. And those are still actually online. Yeah. Um, one talks about rubrics. Mm -hmm. Another is a quick um, path to the portfolio, just a, a quick explanation, mm -hmm. you know, putting together a portfolio, what are the parts right. and what is the process yeah. that the portfolio goes through. Yeah. And another one is a, um, a tour of, of all of the juicy little bits that people might be missing on the ECG website. Uh, yeah. So those are still on. Yeah. Um, how, did, how did you feel like it, it was it effective, do you think? Because um, I know some vendors have said that you know the virtual wasn't very effective. I don't know that it that it was at the time, but we are still getting people who are are seeing it now. Okay, so good. So, so at over least, the long run, yeah. yes, I think it's oh that's good. That's how good. long will it be up? I can stop being up. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, they took this year's booth down. Last year's down. So, so those were videos that are separate now from the booth. Okay. So they were the yes. yes. And and what are you presenting? You're, you're presenting. Um, I have um, technically two presentations that mm -hmm. are that I'm doing three times. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm doing one, a one hour presentation on um, creating transcriptions because a transcription is much more than writing stuff down. Yes. Uh, we'll talk about the ins and outs of law, um, of, of abbreviations, of why we do things in, in certain order, mm -hmm. and, um, and citations, and you know whether or not we do headers, and whether a form, you know, how we format, or if we really care about format. Um, and things like that. That sounds good. Yeah. The other one is a two-hour workshop, um, back to back on early American handwriting. Ah, oh, fun. Um, yeah. So oh, yeah, we're going to be working our way from, um, you know, handwriting of the late 1900s, and then we'll we'll, we'll work our way all the way back. With hands on, stop and write, stop and write. Yeah. Um, back to the 1600s and secretary hands. Wow. And that That's is going to be done twice. Okay. I needed that like 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we will uh, be be learning our own language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's a skill we all need because we've got to read those documents. Yeah, you know? and read them. they're not because they're not teaching cursive. You know, this is going to be a, like the only way you're going to be able to keep a secret from your kids is to write cursive. No, it's not because they're going to be able to use AI. <laughs> the optical. <laughs> they're going to be able to use the optical character recognition to, to find out what their Christmas presents are. <laughs> Laura, tell us what you're doing. Well, I'm doing two with Sherry. She wants me to say what I'm doing so she won't seem like she's doing so much. We're going to do one that we did at um, NGS in Sacramento, um, and it's Beyond Dry Facts, How to Examine Records to Find Story Threads, but basically it's three, three case studies, one from her history, one from mine, and one that was in Sacramento. And Sherry talks about really how to get the most, extract the most information. And she talks about transcription, et cetera, from the documents. And then I talk about pulling the story threads um, from the documents to kind of give the context and all that. And it was a lot of fun in yeah, San Francisco. And then she's also roped me and Peggy <laughs> Lauritsen into doing right. one yeah. called um, Becoming, a, Becoming a Genealogy Professional. Becoming a Professional. Professional genealogist from passion to profit. Is I call it done. becoming a GD. <laughs> anyway, because it's not just about certification. It's like having no, a business. Right. Yeah. And yeah, um, exactly. 
And I'll talk about the, the business side of yeah. the business considerations. Right. And because it's a power hour, it's yeah. really just this fire hose of information. Like, here's what you need to research. But then we're going to have plenty of time for questions yeah. and answers afterwards, too. So, yeah. so we've all got different parts in that. And then... Well, and then Thursday morning, they are live streaming one of my presentations, and I just found out about it a couple of weeks ago. So I'm a little nervous, but it's a genealogy in reverse, finding living people. So I'll be doing that, and then on and that's based on your repatriation. Repatriate, yeah, right, right. So I think that'll be really interesting. I hope. <laughs> live stream, like, oh no. <laughs> and then, um, and then on Saturday, I'm doing one about cousin bait. Ten, ten ways to. It's about cousin bait to find cousins, so that one's a really, really fun one, and I'm glad it's the last one. I'm well, I guess Saturday is the last one we're doing together, but the last one I'm doing on Friday is that one, and it's a really fun one. So it's nice to kind of end doing something by myself with something really fun. So anyway, so that's that's what's happening here. So Shelly, are you doing anything with Bert's Tech? Nope, I'm just revving up for NGS and Rich. Thanks so much. If you see anybody oh. out there, head them in. Just tell them to come in and talk to us. <laughs> Bye, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm with you on the revving, Shelly, but I'm, I'm revving up for a wedding that takes place the week before NGS. <laughs> are you going to make it to NGS? We'll talk about that. <laughs> okay. We're supposed to be sharing a room. She better. Well, <laughs> she Sherry Sanders too. <laughs> that totally went blurry on you guys. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Did. But yeah, I'm gearing so up. Tired. Not just you know to attend the conference. I'm presenting on um, sharing strategies on research and descendants. And Jawan Johnson from William and Mary and me from University of Virginia will present on the projects that we're doing. But I'm also on the board with VGS. So yeah, the whole planning stuff, side, yeah, you know, it's busy. <laughs> it's busy. It's busy. got the wrong conference on the brain. Yes. Well, that's coming up soon because you know what I did? Now, how better planning can I do? I booked three different hotel times and rooms for Richmond. And kept thinking I didn't do it, didn't do it. <laughs> so I got it straight today. Good. Shelly. Yeah. No, she's the one that wind up down there with no room. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. <laughs> Yeah. That's what I was worried about, Roberta, that I messed up. And so I got on the phone with them today and went through actually three reservations and kept the one I originally did, which was the correct one and canceled oh, the other ones. So, and again, the mind of a genealogist and stuff. Yeah, so, exactly. Well, all the, I heard some, uh, Sherry, that the one on your uh, recreation. Is that one going to be streamed? The, the the finding living people one? Yes. Yes. Thursday morning, unfortunately. At, <laughs> at, do you know? And I so I can find it on the schedule because that yeah, would it's be, on the schedule. Yeah, mm -hmm. because schedule. us finding descendants on what we're doing for these universities. Yes. Yes. So exactly. exactly. Yes. Bring it. I'm kind of hoping everybody is going to be so excited to go see Jordan Sparks. <laughs> we'll line up early. Come right before Jordan Sparks. <laughs> Are you really before Jordan? Yeah. I'll yeah, be we... there. <laughs> <laughs> so Sherry's kind of like the warm-up band. For yeah. Sparks. <laughs> the fine I'm living on the stage. People. I'm not on the stage. I'm just. It's just the live stream part. No, no, not on the stage. It's, a, it's live though it's not recorded correct or both yeah it'll be recorded because of live streamed okay. and everything that's live streamed is recorded so, okay so. great great y'all yeah. no hand in the line the first year i proposed for roots tech i don't even know how many years ago that was i i proposed and then the website went up and the only presenters they were showing was like the big stage oh. and i was like what have i done <laughs> <laughs> that I teach you. <laughs> uh, 
That went mute, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Uh oh, what happened? Did you hit that? You're okay. back. Yeah, you're back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think Laura hit the mouse accidentally. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, there's <laughs> little techie gremlins running around. Ex ex exactly. So how's the weather there? Snowy. It snowed a little bit, but then it melted. And they keep telling us we're going to get more, but we'll see. Are we? It's the way winter yeah. teases us in March. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I do have a question to the okay. folks in the room there. So all of you are there, and I know there's one other person I can't see, and uh, but she was talking, but that's okay. I see three from Roberta to her to my yeah, left. Yeah, Cindy. yeah. So Cindy's yeah. over there. No, so Sydney's over there. Did you hear? Okay. <laughs> so Sydney's over there. See? Yes. So so my question, and 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 I'm saying this because I'm gonna put a blog out about attending conferences and stuff. And one of the highlights that I gave was about connecting with other researchers. And I don't know if you already talked about that, but have you guys has anything encountered where you've met people you had met before, other researchers from other areas that maybe you know them online, you know, or you're researching the same place, you know? Yeah, Roberta has. Yeah. That, that I yeah. heard Roberta okay. and on the other three, did, did they hear anything? And again, because that's what I'm saying, the reason people should attend mm -hmm. conferences is also reconnecting, but also reconnecting and still sharing even exactly. though we're doing it online we're doing it on facebook we're doing whatever you know through blogs but in person are you reconnecting with folks like roberta's example i mean i mean i definitely just just being in the library i mean you can't help but you know reconnect with someone or, or yeah. you know, just connect with someone brand new yeah. you know you're standing in the stacks you know and somebody's standing right next to you it's oh what are you you know what are you looking at you know what do you start researching? talking so that, that actually did happen to me yesterday because I'm looking at, in Connecticut and I was looking for this one specific book and somebody was about a couple books down from me and she said what are you looking for and I said oh well, Weathersfield Connecticut she said, oh yeah it's right here you know <laughs> and so I didn't know this person at all um and right. you know it was just it was just a 10, 15 second, you know, encounter, but, uh, but you can't get that online, you know, to, no. to be around people, the energy, you know, to even in the library, it's, it's you know, it's yeah. just, it's, 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 loud. Starting, it's starting to grow, you know, as, as the yeah. day gets closer, yeah. you know, yeah. you definitely can feel it. Right. Laura, Laura said to me earlier, this is the loudest library. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It was so quiet. Yeah. Quiet. And by the time I came down here, everybody yeah. was talking. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you, it's getting louder. I think people are getting more excited and, and no one's whispering anymore. They're just talking. They're just yeah. talking. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Genealogists are such shy people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shelly, yesterday I had, I found a record. I was looking for one of my ancestors' parents and I, fa I found the marriage bond. And I found it. This is in Virginia, by the way. So you might know it. Oh, she might. Um, but basically, it, instead of a bond or a surety, it just had REG period. And some entries had old REG. Mm -hmm. right. So I was asking family search people about it. Well, it turns out my fifth cousin, who I met here at Roots <laughs> Tech like five years ago, was the first. But she's like, Laura, what are you doing in Virginia? And I said, you know, I'm looking for him, Henry Angle's, you know, parents. And she's like, oh, I can have him. And she pulls up her Roots magic and she's like, no, but I do know that this is the pastor that married him. I'm like, yeah. She oh, was yeah. oh my goodness, good. But she had, you know, yeah, she had done research on yeah. him, and yeah. then you know, we ended up, we ended up texting Sam. <laughs> like, what does this mean? The family search people don't know. <laughs> we told well, her to go check the laws. <laughs> and didn't uh, didn't the family history centers the name change recently? Yes. It's the family search library now, and it does not go or in my the name. centers are the family are search, search library, yeah. or the they would be the family search centers. Yes, the, the, yeah, yeah. I, I had to ask David Brinsher yeah. about that because I wasn't sure that the it carried over. It carried yeah. over, but it did. It's all family yeah. search, not yeah. family history now. Yeah. They removed the family history center from Billings, Montana. Oh, no way! Oh, oh wow! What are you gonna do? 
they told us to go to an affiliate library. Oh, do you have We're just seven hours away. We can come to Salt Lake easier. Oh, oh seven. And they have more. I mean, you know, if you're here, you can get in the stacks as well. Oh, yeah. The microphone. yeah, but right. they said all the records are digitized. They don't need a family oh. history center anymore. When I, where I moved from, where I moved to doesn't have one, but where I moved from, they downsized three times, and the last time was in a closet. Oh, and, and which there, center was this? In Howell, Michigan. In Howell, yeah. And there, it was in a closet, and there weren't any librarians left. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know if they closed or not. Right. They, they were kind of like, they said the same, well, you don't need to come here anymore. I'm like, yeah, you do. Because yeah. Is that because of volunteers or? Because they're I think, usually run I think by it's a volunteers. misconception that everything has been digitized. Yeah. When in fact, right. sometimes you have to be on With that link yeah, to get the records. And in the family history centers, they have uh, the ability to get onto the ancestry and the bold mm -hmm. breeze and things like that. And people mm -hmm. don't have subscriptions. So right. they're very, they're still needed. And I think there's a little bit of a disconnect, I think, with the local centers about how valuable they still are. Yeah, because if you're doing it from home, you'll get a lot of the locked mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. and you go to not all are unlocked at the family search. But even if you're an affiliate, there's still some that might be locked as well. You don't get everything yeah, that you, right. you know, but you do get a, a majority, I would say. The Historical yeah, the Society in Charlottesville is an affiliate one. The Center for Family History at the Museum in Charleston will be an affiliate yeah. one. Yeah, yeah they and are then we've those. got a center um, there too yeah the archives where i work where i'm the archivist we are a family search affiliate that's great yeah oh, that is yeah. great yeah so, you guys got that what last year or so oh uh, it's been it was before it, covid oh was it because i yeah. remember your the announcement thing or something you yeah. Guys did. yeah so we are an affiliate, yeah, we're an affiliate and so we um i'm so glad to offer that because like you said yeah. they can access so many more records oh yeah melissa is it common for an archive and not and not libraries for an archive to be an affiliate. I honestly don't know because when I contacted them, um, I was under the impression that it had to be a library. Yeah, and they right were on. very they were much like, no, here, go ahead, have it. It was a I'm very simple sure process. The archives is an affiliate. Yeah, is that right, Roberta? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're I mean, yeah. very supportive and they're very um um hands-on it's like you know they don't just leave you out there you know i can contact them about anything uh, they help me a lot so awesome. yeah, our, our our local library um in myrtle beach is an affiliate yeah, yeah. So that's really nice a lot of yeah. our affiliates here in tennessee have closed and so i was really mm -hmm. glad to get it yeah huh. now downtown well in in charlottesville area the main branch jefferson madison regional library so there is branches at all of the other counties that mm -hmm. come under that region and they're all affiliates. Right. Well, yeah. In America, we don't have a lot of those options. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, there are some family history centers in Montana that are two or three hours away from me, but they're appointment only. Ah, yeah. yeah. How was at the end? Yeah. In, in, I think in, the one in Charlottesville is open today. Do you want to be a librarian? I'm like, no, I just want, I just want to research. So that's, that's tough. tough. I, I'm, I'm going to yeah. say best yeah. and enjoy. I have a DAR meeting to All go right. to. All right. Thank you. And Kelly. so I'm going to leave and go we get miss you not being here. I know it's weird. I it would love weird. to have been there, but you know yeah. what? I'm going to be hitting National Archives this uh, Yeah, month, I'm jealous about that, month. too. <laughs> I'm going up to D.C., so I'm hitting all these points. And okay, well, you let me know when you get back down to Charleston, okay? Maybe I can make another trip down uh, there. They announced today when the museum was opening. What? what? Ooh, when? Really? When? I was going to share that on Jen, friends. <laughs> <laughs> June 27th. June 27th. All right. Yes. Yay. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> we're yes. Two hours from my house. <laughs> yeah. So Tom Reed and I we're connecting because I'm trying to connect with yeah, wait, family search center <laughs> in Charleston. <laughs> and I'm gonna get it in my head, you know. Yes, but I'm yeah, so, so we're gonna set up so I want some collaboration there also. 
you yeah. know, and they're a good source of information and assistance for the folks also exactly. that will be there, plus to be able to visit that so place. Let me ask you a question about the opening. Um, can anybody just show up or do you have to have tickets for the opening? What oh, do you, Lord Hammers, do you know you can't just show yeah. up. Yeah, I know. So can I beg? Can you I know what? Go? Washington, <laughs> Washington D.C. is still feeling it and have these time passes for you yeah. to come in. And so, yeah, yeah. There's, some for, there's some frequently asked questions on yeah. the main museum okay. site. And that is one of them. So yeah, I'm a gen friend. I'm a gen friend. I want to be there opening day. <laughs> I do too. Well, I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there and I'll be, uh, we got a recording of stuff that happened, you uh -huh. know, prior to. And so that'll oh, be okay. running all during that opening week and stuff yeah, so yeah and anyway, I'm, so I'm so glad that, that i'm happy and tony retired today no yes but tony she'll Carrier be doing a fellowship oh, tony really? carrier oh, she'll yeah. be doing a fellowship at the south carolina with the museum but at the south carolina archives in columbia oh she will yes oh good All right. but she'll be doing Another it for the museum there <laughs> yes Yes. So anyway, that, you guys have a good time. Bye. Bye, bye, bye Shelly. Bye, bye. So I have a, another question for everybody because okay. we've met, we've talked about people that it's smaller. Yeah. People that aren't here. Yeah. So who are you going to miss mm, this year? Who's not going to be here? We don't want to leave anybody out, though. I mean, that's true. I, don't Maybe I shouldn't true. go there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I yeah. should go. OK, let's just say. Everybody who can't be here this year, we wish you were here. Yeah. yeah. And, one, and one day I want to go kidnap Melissa and get her out here somehow. <laughs> yeah. You have to ready. drag me from my archives. I know. And I know you don't like to fly, but maybe you could take it. No. Or... Airplanes go into the air and I'm deathly scared of heights. My yeah. husband found that out when he got me on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, my my son is desperately afraid of heights but it ends like I don't know like at a thousand feet and so he, he, <laughs> why because mom the pressure under the wings is greater than the pressure over the wings so it's fine I don't know yeah. but it's funny well, it's funny well, my so husband tells me that, that that there's it's safer to fly than it is to drive so that's true we'll take Amtrak out that would be fun I don't well, know I'm where the nearest Amtrak is here until I realized my son flew in and out of Iraq and Afghanistan. So what was I scared of to oh, fly on a plane? Oh, you just yeah. gotta put it in perspective. Yeah. Why what should I be scared when he can fly in and out of Iraq? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And you know what? I I look at what my ancestors and my ancestor, one of mine got shipwrecked twice. And I know we all have shipwreck stories. It's real. I have the document out of Bergen, Norway. And then I've gone and out of Philadelphia where they got shipwrecked a second time oh, on the way. And all of so he almost died twice getting to America. Wow. And it's like, okay, I can, I, I don't like to fly either. And I'm terrified <laughs> to fly at Ferris wheel, so I'm not going to fly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, a Ferris wheel is an unnecessary risk. Yeah, I mean, you're like, like, it gets you from point A to B. <laughs> <laughs> like, goes, I don't care to get from point A to point B. Yeah. I'm happy where I am in my archives. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a panic attack on the top of the Ferris wheel. My husband, I don't remember. Oh. My husband says I tried to jump out. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. No, I had that. <laughs> but here's what I, I decided when my kids were old enough, it didn't matter if I died. Uh, I mean, it used to be yeah. Yeah, morbid. Yeah. But that's, <laughs> when my kids were of age, yeah. And it's like, it's okay now. They can and take care of themselves. I'm good. I'm good. I'm getting on that airplane. I'm going around the world. I'm going to England. I'm going to go and take a van out. <laughs> I'm not going to care if I die. I'm on the way down. Good advice for Jen Friends. <laughs> sat on our local fair and watched the people assemble those Ferris wheels. There's no way. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going. <laughs> Yeah, like the big one in London, which I didn't go on, but it wasn't yeah. because I was pregnant. I went on that. <laughs> but actually, that's a little bit different than yeah. the local mm -hmm. fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the local fair yeah. ones, I'm like, yeah. you're right. They, they've got, you know, 10, 14 year olds putting it together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can turn up a drunk. tractor, but. <laughs> <laughs> They've been there, done this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I don't want to keep you guys all night. <laughs> it's yeah. been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. We just wanted to. It's been so great. I got to go too. So yeah. All right. So, thank you. So, well, thank you so much, much Melissa. Yeah. Everybody. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. And with that, we will see you next time on Gen Friends. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.